Good day and welcome to the channel. In this short video, we are going to show you three ways to take screenshots. And you might think, I'm pretty sure I know how to take a screenshot, buddy. Not like this, you don't. So we'll firstly show you how to take regular screenshots using the snipping tool that's built into Windows 10, Windows 11. It's excellent. You don't need extra tools uh, to do most of what you want to do. Now, the second way we're going to show you is how to take what's called a scrolling screenshot. So, for instance, the web page that's here, what if we want to take everything that's on this page and not just the content that you can see here? We want things that you have to scroll to see. Well, you can do that with Microsoft Edge or Google Chrome. It's easy to do. We'll show you that. But there's also a third problem uh, and a third solution, which is a little more advanced but not hard, and we'll show you how to take the screenshot of an element. So for instance, you can see here, I've got this very long complaint to WestJet, by the way, to which WestJet blew me off after blowing up three days of my vacation. So not happy with them. So I'm appealing this to the government. And to make that happen, they need a copy of this conversation. So how do I send them this conversation? Well, you can't print it. You can't capture it using any normal tools. You can't capture it with Snagit. You can't capture it with uh, add-on tools like GreenShot, GoMu, ShareX, LightShot, none of these tools will let you scroll down through this element node. And that's a problem. That's what I really need. So let's get started. Uh, so we'll go start with easy and we'll work our way up to more complex. So snipping tool, uh, it looks like this in Windows 11. It's also been put into Windows 10. Uh, just click uh, start and type in snip. If you don't already have it, it'll come up here. And there's a whole lot of things. We have a separate video on how to use this, but I'm just trying to point out that it's here. I'll show, a couple, show you a couple of very cool things that you might want to know about. And other than that, we'll just assume you understand it. So the first thing is the rectangle. That's the normal. I want to click new and take a screenshot and bingo. There it is. That's the screenshot. Happy enough. Next thing, you can take a picture of the entire screen using full screen mode. You can also, and I have to do this a lot, use delay because I need to get something on the screen, like a pop-up that's not there now. We'll, we'll click three seconds to make it fast, click new, and now I can scroll down or do whatever I need to, and there it is, and take my screenshot, and I'm on my way. Let's get rid of that. So the snipping tool uh, really is pretty advanced now. Uh, the thing that was just added is the video snipping. That's really helpful. So click new, and you'll see you get the recorder at the top here, and I want to record this area here, we'll say, and I'll click start, scroll down, scroll through, and there you go. The problem with this is instead of having a still picture, which is what I need, let me click stop, what I actually get is a video. Doesn't do me any good, but I can click play here. It's kind of cool. Okay, so you get the idea. Let's get out of that. Snipping tool, awesome. Uh, we'll put a link in the top right hand corner showing you all of the really cool things you can do with the snipping tool. Next way to take screenshots is uh, scrolling screenshots, and that's built into, in this case, I'm using our friend Microsoft Edge, which is just Chrome, in case you weren't aware. It's just a specialized version of Chrome. Actually, I think it's much better than Chrome, uh, but we'll leave that alone. You can choose whatever product you like. So let's say I wanted to take uh, this entire uh, screen, not just what I can see on the screen, but all of it. How do you do that? Simple. Simply click the three dots in the type right hand corner of Microsoft Edge and go down to, no shock, screenshot. And if you take capture area, it'll let you drag an area, kind of goes without saying, but we want to capture a full, full page. So let's click on that, watch what happens. Boom, it's got it. So I'm going to click save in the top right hand corner here. There it is, let me open it up. And you can see, boom, it got lots of stuff, took the whole page, okay. But that doesn't solve my problem when it gets to something like this Twitter X problem, which is I just need to take a scroll of an element on the page, not the entire page. How can you do that? So let's just show you the problem. If I do exactly what I just did before and I click the three dots in the top right hand corner, top right hand corner, and I select screenshot, and then I click capture full page, it's only going to capture, look, I'll show you. And we'll open it, click save. It just captured what was on the screen. Okay, that's not what I need. And by the way, why did it do that? Well, it only did that because you can see the main page didn't have a scroll. 
right? You can see here, it's it just didn't. This element node frame on the page is what had a scroll. How do I capture just that element node of this web page? Well, turns out, not as hard as you think, but it's certainly not something you're going to figure out on your own. It's a developer tool, so let's do it. So press F12 on your keyboard, and it comes up and says, you sure you want developer tools, man? They're pretty advanced. Yeah, don't worry about it, man, I'm good. So click open tools, and this will let you toggle through so developers can see you know, what it would look like on different platforms. So I can say, I want to know what this would look like on an iPhone 14 Pro Max, or I want this to look up whatever, okay? I'm just gonna set it to responsive. You get the idea that this really is a developer tool. Now, this is the elements section here, and this is really the key. But the first thing we've got to do is set the dimensions. So the dimensions for this area, I'm going to set to 5,000 here, and that's about the right length, but I don't want all this crap here. So I'm going to set this to be, let's go with uh, 1,000 by 5,000. Let's go with that. See what that looks like. Yeah, that's better. So now you think, but I'm not going to be able to read that. Yeah, don't worry about it. So that's the entire content of my uh, argument with WestJet, and I need a screenshot of that. So how do I get it? Well, what you do is make sure you're on elements here, right? And by the way, this menu bar can be along the top, but make sure you're on elements. If you're on anything else, that's okay. Just go back to elements and then right click on it and select capture node screenshot. Boom, there it is. And it automatically saved it. Let's open it up. And you think, oh, I can't read that. No, it's okay. Look, it's only at 9% uh, size here. Let's scale it out to be a full size. Clear as day. Isn't that great? And I can scroll up and down through it. Wonderful. So hey, if you found this video useful, please give us the big thumbs up because we would really appreciate it. If you have any questions or concerns, you can always get a hold of us directly at www.urtech.ca. That's www.urtech.ca. Or you can leave a question or a comment below. And if we don't get back to you, somebody else will because on YouTube, everybody's got an opinion. Thanks and have a great day. Bye.